everybody I finally did it and it's not this amazing show it's even better it's a course you guys have been asking me for a while to create a course or something linear you love the tutorials or you hate them I don't know but uh, lots of people love the tutorials but they find that they're they are desiring more of a linear process so I helped create that linear process now I have been um, working on this for quite some time as we go through. And the first course is really looking at a benchmark before you start projection mapping. There's a lot of new people who are coming into this community and they're looking for some type of guidance. And I'm hoping to catch those people before they spend the money and they make the investment and they find out this is not for them. So there are two points to this video and video course should I say. So the course points are, the first thing is I wanna save you time. It involves a lot of research and I did the research. So now I'm helping you out with that and saving you time. The next thing is I wanna save you a lot of money. And by that I mean investment. This is a big investment and if you get into it and you find out that this is not for you, you're probably going to be losing some money along the way. I also show you some tips to save some money and to create a plan to make it affordable as you go through this. So what I'm going to do, and I'm going to explain this now because my tutorials have always been free so far. If you look in my, uh, in my channel, there's a ton of tutorials and that's probably why you were here anyway. Now I'm going to tell you there is a cost for this course and I'm keeping it very minimal and it's going to be fluctuating. So the cost is going to be based solely off of the software. So if enough people sign up that I can cover over a couple months to cover the cost of the platform, then the prices are gonna drop down. If, it's, if the, not a lot of people are signing up, then the prices are gonna have to go up to kind of account for that as well. So it's really going to kind of be this balancing act. I really hope that in the end it can be free and I hope um, that a lot of people sign up to cover the cost for the year in the very beginning, which would be awesome. Um, but even then, I'm keeping this price at a very low minimum price. I do not want to go up over like $20 for sure. Is there more than $20 worth of information there? Definitely. Am I going to save you more than $20? Most likely. No, I'm probably going to say definitely, as long as you listen to all my uh, tw uh, little hints that I put out there. So I finally did it. I made a course, and this course is starting off with the before you purchase. So following this little video here, just coming up right after this, I'm going to go into the introduction of the course that goes over exactly what I'm going to cover in the course. Many of the tutorials or many of the little videos you will find they're actually on the channel now, but there is quite a few of new ones that are not on the channel yet. So take a look at it. If you're interested or if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me as always. And thanks everybody. It's always been a blast to help you. Hi, welcome to the Before You Start Projection Mapping course. My name is Dan Phillips and I am the lead of the HolidayProjectionMapping.com website. I also run Phillips Projections on YouTube, 
which has many different tutorials and it's been going for years. I'm also on Facebook as well in many of the groups and I have had a lot of questions over the years of how I did it and everything is getting to um, a good kickoff where a lot of people are starting to do this and face it, that's why you're here. You have seen some type of projection mapping and you decided to check it out. So I am going to be running off some courses uh, because a lot of people were looking for a more linear fashion. So I created a line of courses. Well, I'm creating a line of courses that we're going to be working through. And the first thing that you need to do is think about what you need to do before you even start, before you make any purchases or anything like that. There is a lot of research that you have to do. And I spent hours and hours doing all of that research and I continue to as we go through. So why spend all the hours as well when I can just help you out? So that's the whole purpose of this course. Now you're going to notice if you have watched any of my videos before, I'm completely unscripted. There's no teleprompter in front of me or no lines and I'm not going to go one by one. So you're going to hear some stumbles here and there and you're going to hear some uh, great thinking as it is going forward. Uh, that's where I decide to stay unscripted as you move forward. So that's what you're going to find in a lot of my videos. There's probably gonna be a couple ums and likes and different pauses or weird breaks there, but that's okay. That's all part of the learning process. And as I'm thinking to best describe it to you. So we are going to go through the course and this is a brief introduction that will tell you what is going to happen in the course. So we're all going to start off and I think the first place to start that makes the most sense is figuring out if your house is actually going to work. So I'm going to walk you through the actual steps and uh, things to look for in your house and ways to overcome them. Because when it comes down to it, will your house work? Yeah, pretty much any house will work, uh, but there's going to either be a big investment that you have to do uh, if your house is crazy, uh, or there's going to be a few little things that you're going to need to change. But any house can work. So the first step we're going to do is going to look through, will your house work? After we figure out if your house is going to work or not, you're going to get into the hardware section. And that's where I outline the majority of the hardware that you will go over. Will things change? Do some people have different types of hardware in their enclosures? Definitely. Uh, and you will figure out what you want to do and how you want to do it and what hardware will work best for your situation. But I'm going to give you the basics of that hardware to give you a jumping point. Next, we're going to get into the investment portion and that's where we talk money. So I give you big roundabout figures and things that you need to plan to spend your money on. And I also try to go over how you can break it down as you're going to develop it over the course of time. I, where I'm at now with my investment is completely different than my first two, uh, maybe even three years as I went and I upgraded my way through. But that's what we go over in, in the investment. We're going to talk about determining the placement, which is really looking at the measurements of your house. And that's where you're going to get that information of what you need as far as a projector, which brings us to the next one where I talk about picking a projector. I'm going to give you suggestions, but I'm not going to tell you exactly what you need because frankly, the market can continues to change as you move forward. So I'm going to give you things that you can consistently look for. After we figure out the projector and the investment and the hardware and everything, I talk about the sound because that's one of the most important pieces. So I talk about how you can get your sound out to your people. After we talk about the sound and optimizing your FM transmitter, we're going to be looking at theft, which is another big piece. And I talk a lot about theft deterrence as you go and the different tips and tricks that we have used over the course of the year successfully. I actually have not heard, knock on wood, I have not heard of one person yet that has had their stuff stolen. So if you're that person, don't ruin it for everybody. But uh, I, so far, so good. Uh, lots of people just enjoy the shows. So I'm going to tell you a bunch of the things that we use to try to deter the theft. After we talk about the theft, we can finally get into designing your enclosure. 
And I speci uh, specifically said designing your enclosure because this is not a one piece fits all. Uh, I could totally give you blueprints, but that might not work for you and you're going to have to alter it anyway. So we talk about the things that you need to think about as you're designing the enclosure and I give you a couple hints and tricks and uh, examples to go off of. After you designed your enclosure, the next logical step, you have your projector, you have your sound design, you have your theft deterrence, you have your enclosure design. The next part is you need to think about your software. What software are you going to use? Are you going to use a subscription-based software? Are you looking for something that is free? Are you looking at something that has a lot of different video effects controls? Are you looking for something that's more just plug, plug and play? That's what I'm going to talk about in the software and I'll go over. I'm not going to tell you exactly what to use because everybody uses different things because there's different uses. But I will go over the main players in the software category. After that, we're going to talk about some learning resources and groups that you have available to you. And um, those I will continue to add to as you as new groups pop up. But those resources and groups are a really good place to get some ideas and to bounce some ideas off of other people as well. There's a really great community that's growing and we would love to see you in there. After that, we talk about what is next. What is your next step? You have everything figured out. Now you have to get down into the software choice and the mapping of your house. And that's where you will go into that next course. So I hope you're interested in this course. There is a lot of information. And I'm talking like hours of information. So I hope you are ready for this. I hope this gives you a really good um, idea. The main purpose of this course is to one, save you time and to two, save you money. Because if this is not something you want to jump out on, I hope I catch you before you buy that projector or um, invest in that software or hardware or get too far or get into your head too far. So that is my hope for you. I'm hoping to save you some time and save you some money. So I hope you're interested in, the co is in this course. If you are, go ahead, click your way through and reach out if you have any questions. Thanks.